OK, here we're well in ma man of the match, Jake Reid, after a good, very good 3-0 victory over Chelmsford City. Two goals, and I think them goals have been coming, Jake. Yeah, I needed the goals, to be fair. I don't think I started the brightest in the first two games. Um, I've been working hard outside of the training to get back my fitness and stuff, and it paid off today. Yeah, that's right, and I think you took your goals really well. Let's look at the first goal. Ross Lafayette's won the ball, he set yeah. you up, and you've tucked yeah, it away well, nicely. Well, credit to, to Ross, he, he did the hard work. Um, Hopefully I can repay him later on before the end of the season with setting him up like that. Needed the goal, so thanks to him really. And you grew in confidence as the game went on, got the second goal and a lovely cushioned header. Yeah, again it was Roscoe's cross again, so seemed to be developing a nice little partnership. Um, I think the second goal um, killed them off a bit, we needed that because they came back strong into the game. So yeah, overall it was a good performance by the lads, I'm happy that I was able to get two goals part of that. Looking at yourself, I think you, you, you've come and added something that perhaps we were a little bit missing, yeah. big target man. Ross, perhaps, before you joined, was doing a lot of that, but you've taken the, the burden, but you're getting goals as well now. Well, today, I got goals, so yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just happy that I, could, that I could be at the club and offer what I could do as a big target man. Hopefully, I mean, if I impress enough, I could do that next season as well. Obviously, Jamie brought you in recently. How did the move come about? I've known, I've known Jamie for a little while. I haven't played, just played against him. Um, played Welling a few times over the last few years, so just known him through, like, through playing against him. And um, there was a few problems at the, my other club. And I basically asked if I could come on loan to the end of the season, and we just got the move done straight away. Currently, I think you're living in Bristol. Yep. How's that working out for yourself? It's tough travelling, but I mean, there's a month to go to the end of the season. I've got family and friends in London, so just stay up over the night, train, come back to Bristol when I need to. And obviously the team spirit is superb and you fitted in yeah. really well. Yeah, the, the team spirit here is great and the band is flying and I'm really enjoying my time here. Looking at the league, we're 12 points clear. So we do have two games in hand, so it's certainly not over by any means, but you know we're in a strong position. Definitely, at this stage of the season, it's all about points on the table. Um, even with their games in hand, they've got to win them and we're still ahead. Um, it'd be interesting next Saturday against Salisbury is a big one. We've got Eastbourne before then, but we are in a we are in a strong position. It's ours to lose. So. And looking ahead to Bank Holiday Monday, Eastbourne away. What's your thoughts? East, Eastbourne away. I know a few of the lads. They got they got some good players there. But at the end of the day, we're playing. We're top of the league for a reason. We're flying. So we do what we did today. We'll win again. Excellent. Thanks for your time, Jake. Cheers. Cheers.